chapits and chapits. <laughs> it's hairy nose cam time. Yes, I'm going to do a play around with a game. Which game? I'm going to play around with Castle Panic and its expansion, The Wizard's Tower. Because, ideally, you shouldn't play Castle Panic without The Wizard's Tower. But I'm giving away my secrets about what I think about the expansion. Well, basically, the game is all the players are responsible for this castle in the middle and they've got to stop it from these monsters which are coming into attack and um, you're using cards to fight them off okay and there's lots of monsters but we don't know what they are and where they're going to come from yet and we will find out um, I've got my um, not a tea today but I've got a cappuccino ready to keep me go I'm going to break this video it's down into maybe two or three pieces of 20 minutes each due to the fact that the battery on my camera is not that long and um, it just stops you getting bored of my voice for a while so without further ado you're gonna learn how to play while watching me play because this game is simple and this game is a solo game one player can play this game on his own and so that's what I'm doing <laughs> crazy fool <laughs> crazy muffle okay I've already set up the board, I've already sorted out the monsters, you have to take some out from the base game and to add some new ones in. You have this new deck of wizards cards, which are more powerful, which we can draw from. Uh, and you've got some more cards which have been added to your castle deck. You've got this wizards tower, which, if it's still standing, you can draw from the wizards card deck. And then you've got some new monsters which have been added, and we have some bosses. Um, three of these bosses will turn up eventually. We don't know which ones, they've been putting in secretly. We have fires which can happen and we have imps which just appear and, and cause havoc. So without further ado, let's start playing. Okay, the order of play as written on the board is draw up. My hand size for a single player game is six cards. Sorry about the light reflecting there. So I've already drawn my cards. Everything's been set up randomly. Even the Tower of the Wizard it's been put in six due to the fact that I rolled the dice and the dice told me to put it in six. So, I'm thirsty already. Right, so, I've drawn up to my six card hand. The next thing I need to do is I need to discard, or I can discard and draw a new card. Now, with the expansion, when you discard, this is the only way to get wizard's cards. Um, you can't get them any other way. And, because I'm playing solo, um, I can discard two cards. Because there is no phase three for a solo player. I can't trade cards with other players because there are none. Okay, so looking at my cards. Looking at my cards. Um, I've got some flying monsters. These ones with a blue background mean that they're flying. They only can be attacked by um, archers and goblins. Um, orcs are normal kind of thing. Goblin cavalry moves fast. I've got one green card, so it'd be in the swordsman zone next round. Uh, the golem. Uh, what card should I get rid of? Could do with a wizard's card. They 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 do they do really good. They're really powerful. The wizard's card. The wizard. <laughs> Sorry, Paul Hardcastle. Um, I am not going to discard any cards. I'm going to keep what I've got because every card we come to use this round or the next. Um, so I'm going to move to the play cards round. Okay, let's play cards. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is because the golem here, he can only be killed. He can be killed instantly with a swordsman uh, and a knight won't hurt him and an archer will just take one point of life away from him. Hmm, okay, so um, I'll save. I've got a red swordsman. So as long as he stays in that route, I should be okay. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to use the archer with the flaming sword, which uh, lets a monster catch on fire. So I hit him for one point. He's down to two points. And he's on fire. This troll is on fire! Oh dear, it started already. So that's that done. Next, what I'm going to do, I've got... Another red archer. Um, it's totally pointless. I'm going to use the red archer again on the troll. So he'll be dead the next round. He's down to one life and he's on fire. 
We've got a green swordsman, which I want to save for the cavalry. Um, a knight. I could have discarded the knight. Oops, I'm, I'm mucked up already. Not thinking properly. And the red swordsman I'm going to use to kill the golem. Ah! Oh, there you go. I could have got rid of the knight. That would have uh, given me a good wizard card. Okay, so that's my turn over. Play cards over. Now we move the monsters. So all monsters move one space. Uh, starting zone one. He moves one forward and then he dies because the fire is just too intense. Okay. Gollum, he moves one. The gargoyle flies one. The goblin cavalry, he moves two. So I can tap him now. That's good. Um, the orc moves one and the gargoyle moves one. Not very good. Okay. And then I draw two monsters. Now, I haven't put the monsters in the bag because getting the monsters out of a bag with one hand and a is a bit hard so I've, I've done what basically like the base game says you make a pile of them and you just take them at random okay this bag comes with the expansion which is damn useful I tell you it's really nice that's the only reason I bought the expansion is to get the nice bag and then I found out the expansion is actually very good but anyway I digress two that's my first one and that's my second one. Or is that my first one? That's my first one. Okay, we have a healer. Ha ha ha. Okay, and he comes on. Roll the dice. On three. Zone three in the forest. Now, the healer is um, a boss from the base game. And basically, he can heal any wounded monsters on the field. And there are none, so... Okay. And then we have a troll. He comes on... Oh, dear me. Two. Not a very good example of a dice tower. And there he goes. He's behind the golem. Okay, so that's phase six done. Then it moves to the next player, which is me. So I draw up to six cards. One, two, three. Ooh, I've got seven there. That one's too many. Again, playing a game with one hand is really, really hard. Okay, I've got some archers, which are totally pointless to me now. Um, the blue one is, definitely. So I might discard the blue one. I'm going to get rid of the red knight as well. I'm going to discard two cards, because we're in the discard phase. And I'm going to draw one wizard card. Ooh, very nice. And I'm going to draw a castle card. Which is the other colour swordsman, which is great! Okay. So, what are we going to do now? I've got a nice shot, which would be very useful, because this Goblin Cavalry is right at my wall, and on the next turn he's going to break that wall down, and I want to keep that wall alive as much as possible. Um, I just realised I threw away an archer, and archers can get rid of flying monsters. Oh, what colour was it? It was a blue archer. Oh, could have... Oh, idiot. Okay, but this, um, this wizard card here... Seems quite useful. Deliver four points of damage in one colour. Distribute as many. Distribute damage amongst as many monsters as you choose. Okay. So, that could be quite useful. So, first things first. I am going to have to attack that Goblin Cavalry right at the front there. I'm going to take my uh, Green Swordsman with a nice shot. And he's eliminated. And I killed him, so I gain him as points. Woohoo! Which is great news. Okay, next thing I want to do. There's no more on the swordsman zone. The archer I mucked up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... No, I'm going to save that card. I'm going to save that card for the next round. Um... And see what we can do. Okay, so there we go. That's that done. And then we move to move monsters. So no monsters in zone one. He now moves there. He moves there. He moves there. He moves there. Nobody in four. The orc moves there. Today is the day the teddy bears have the picnic. Okay, I'm going to have to rejiggle all this. That's my points there. Okay, this put on this side of the card. Okay, the first monster we have is a Cyclops. And he comes on. And five. Now the Cyclops 
Um, he's a new character as well. Um, he can be killed outright by an archer, and, but he can't be touched by swordsmen. And he comes there, so I'm going to need a blue archer to take him out instantly. And my second tile is an orc. And he comes on a five as well. Hmm. Useful, useful. Okay, so that's the draw two monsters phase. Now I draw two cards. Okay. Oh, we have the Barbarian. This is my favourite card. Everyone's favourite cards. If you get the Barbarian and the Scavenge card, you can just plough through the monsters like nobody's business. Okay, immediately discard a card. As you wish, for every card discard, draw one castle card. I don't like this card. I don't like this card. I'm going to discard that instantly now. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that. So I'm going to discard my Never Lose Hope and I'm going to draw a castle card. My strategy here is to just go through the castle cards as quickly as possible because I find that's the best way. You, if you get the Barbarian and the Scavenger card several times, you can kill those monsters which become a nuisance quite quickly. Okay, we now have a Blue Archer. Woohoo! Useful. Hmm. So, what am I going to do? Right. Time to play. Swordsman. Red Swordsman. Kills the Golem instantly. Uh, my Red Archer is going to do one point of damage on the Troll here. And... I've got a Blue Archer, which will tap him. So I will do that. Yes. I tap the goblin, the gargoyle, the blue one. And I will use my any colored swordsman. Oh, I can't use him on uh, the gargoyle there. So I'm going to use him on the orc over here. And... Shall I do it? Shall I do it? Shall I do it? I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to use the um, the magic wizard card, and I am going to distribute four points. One point, two point, three point, four point, and so it's just the cyclops, which I should be at. hopefully get a blue archer on my next turn. Uh, now, do I use the barbarian or not on that gargoyle just to save that wall? Uh, Thinking, 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 thinking. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna draw five cards on my next turn, and chances are I haven't had any brick or mortar ones yet, so I should be able to build a wall, which would be useful. And hopefully, I'm I'm never know. You might get a green archer, which will do something useful for once. Okay, so. Next we go to move monsters. The troll lumbers along with his wounded leg. The gargoyle flies into the wall. <sighs> the wall destroyed. But the gargoyle loses a life point. The healer moves forward. He can't use his power anymore. And then Cyclab become goes into the zone. He is most, most vulnerable in. Now it's time for Cappuccino. Mmm. Sibosa. Okay, draw two monsters. One, two. That's my two monsters. Doing them in order from right to left. We have the conjurer. Aha! Okay. The conjurer are plant in the forest and then roll a dice. The resulting number is the amount of imps that appear in the forest ring. Oh. Right, so where does he come from? Number one. We have a result. Two. Comes in zone two. And then how many imps does he bring with him? He brings in three imps. One, two, three. Now imps, when you kill them, you don't win them as points because they're magical and they disappear like bubbles. So uh, I've added three imps in zone one, two, and three because that's how you do it. And my second tile is place one imp <laughs> per tile. Whoa, Shugan. Uh, let's put that tile over there because that's no good to us no more. So it's another six imps. One, two. Three, there's lots of ints. Four, five, six. Okay, oh dear. Things are getting a bit boisterous now. Now we go back to draw phase. One card, change range. It's quite useful if you've got 
characters which are in the wrong places. I've got a blue swordsman. I've got a green archer. I've got a brick. One brick to build a wall. And I have a knight of any colour. Hmm. Right, let's evaluate our situation here. We have an open wall, which a gargoyle is going to fly through at any minute. And, uh, hmm. Doesn't look good, does it? Maybe this game will be finished soon. Da -da 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 -da. I need an archer. I need a blue archer at that. I could use that with that to take that cyclops out. Um, the blue swordsman is useless, so I'm going to get rid of the blue swordsman and the brick. There you go. And then I'm going to draw a castle card and I'm going to draw a wizard card. Ooh, remove all flame tokens from the wall and all monsters move back one space. That's quite useful. I might use that on my next turn. And I've got Red Swordsman, which won't do anything till the next turn because there's nobody in the Red Swordsman zone. Oh, ka-ching! Not. Oh. Bon. Oh, let's play then. Okay. Now that changes... Oh, I can't use that. That changes... Ugh. Ugh. Idiot. Okay, I'm going to have to do that then. I'm going to choose a knight of any colour and change the range. So I'm going to change the... Yeah, I couldn't do the archer because that card changes not the colour, but it changes the range. Arrgh. So I can't change the archer for an archer. So I'm going to change the knight, make it a blue knight, and change its range so it's an archer, just to take out the cyclops. Hasta la vista, baby. Points! ka -ching! Red Swordsman doesn't do anything. Um, shall I use the Barbarian? Shall I use the Barbarian? There's no bosses around, really. Arrgh. Green Archer is useless. Red Swordsman is useless. I should do, really. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Because I don't want the Gargoyle getting into the castle. But then again... If I use it now, these monsters are not going to move, and there's lots of them. And I'd prefer if they come forward one and then move back one, instead of just staying there and then moving forward one. So I'm going to save that for my next turn. I'm going to be risky. I'm risking this game, because this game can be, can be quite easily beaten. So, let's carry on. I'm, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not drawing. I've just played. Yes. Move monsters. There they go. They move. The gargoyle is there. And guess what? The gargoyle. Oh, la, 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 la. The gargoyle. He's a nasty. He's nasty. He's in there. There goes my tower. And he's dead. Anyway, let's see what monsters we got. First monster is a Hydra. <laughs> That's a boss. There she is, the Hydra. And the Hydra comes on, on number four. This tile then goes out of play. And the Hydra. Let's have a look at the reference card for the Hydra. The Hydra, for each point of damage that, that you do on the Hydra, uh, two imps will appear in the forest in the same arc. Mmm. Scary stuff. More imps. Hopefully we've got enough tiles for the imps. Five is the number that the ogre appears in. Hopefully you won't turn the stone. Well, I'm going to leave it there. And... Uh, I'm going to take a break and um, because the memory card is running out. And I'll see you in the next video, whenever that will be.